The team has been hard at work on several long-term investments in both the performance and developer experience of Angular. One of the most vital projects has been our redesign of Angular's reactivity system. One of the primary goals and one of the most ambitious is to make Zone.js optional for Angular applications. I'm Alex, the technical lead for the Angular framework at Google, and I'm excited to share with you some insight into our progress and the work that remains. Let's start by talking a little bit about the goals. Why do we think zoneless Angular is worth building, and what's the future of Zone.js? On Angular, backwards compatibility is one of our main values. There are millions of Angular applications which are built with zones, including thousands at Google alone, and we're committed to supporting this way of using Angular for the foreseeable future. At the same time, experience has shown us that as applications scale, the hands-off approach to reactivity used by Zone.js starts to show some weaknesses. It becomes more challenging to maintain and safeguard performance or to debug reactivity. And as new web APIs are added, the cost of loading and initializing zones is growing. Given these challenges, we decided to invest in a new reactivity system that will scale to meet the developer experience and performance needs of the next 10 years of Angular applications. Changing a core part of the framework like this is a long-term project, with features and fixes landing in different releases along the way. Let's talk about some of the work we've done already. Last year in v16, we introduced Angular developers to our three new reactive primitives, Signal, Computed, and Effect. These APIs are at the heart of our new reactivity model. With them, developers can have confidence that Angular will understand changes made to their application state and update the UI correctly and efficiently. In v17, Signal and Computed became stable APIs. Angular is ready for signals. In addition to the core primitives, we've been working closely with the teams behind the community state management libraries that you know and love, like NGRX, NGXS, RxAngular, and several others. We've been working together to ensure the Signal APIs support their use cases, and integrations like NGRX's Signal Store exemplify the fruits of this collaboration. These APIs give us a strong foundation on which to build a new reactivity model for Angular that doesn't require zones. When you communicate state changes to Angular, for example, by setting a signal that's used in a template, the framework will schedule change detection automatically without the need for Zone.js. But what about existing applications, some of which can have thousands of components which are not yet using signals? We want to make sure it's possible for these applications to switch to zoneless without needing to migrate everything to signals. And of course, we want the rich ecosystem of Angular libraries to be zoneless compatible without major changes as well. For the past six months, we've been working towards this goal, building out a new mode for change detection that balances correctness, performance, developer experience, and backwards compatibility. Getting this right takes time, and we've been working with different applications at Google to experiment and test these ideas, some of which are already running in production. In v18, we expect to release two major pieces of this puzzle. One piece is what we've been calling hybrid change detection, which we'll be enabling by default for all v18 applications. In this mode, even if Zone.js doesn't patch an API, or if changes are made outside of the Angular zone, Angular will still listen to signals and other notifications about changes and schedule change detection. Hybrid change detection will allow developers, especially library authors, to write code that works regardless of whether Zone.js is used or not. And secondly, in v18, we'll have an experimental API to disable Zone.js integration entirely and run applications fully in zoneless mode. This API will be experimental as not all parts of Angular work smoothly with zoneless today. We're still in the process of updating libraries like Forms and Material, for example. Releasing this API early will allow us to collect your feedback and gather even more data on which patterns are working with zoneless and where we might need to focus more effort. Beyond V18, we have even more exciting projects in the pipeline. We'll be working towards a full developer preview of Zoneless, including compatibility with Angular's own packages as well as popular libraries in the ecosystem. We're also not finished integrating signals with the core framework. Forms and Router, for example, will be updated to expose state as signals where it makes sense. And finally, signal components will unlock the full developer experience and performance benefits of signals. 
Through our work on Signals, Zoneless, and across our other projects, we are committed to the stability and reliability of Angular as a foundation for your applications, while we work to prepare the framework for the next 10 years of web development.